y'all. APT Jamie here. And today we're working on hashtag or just number, depending on if you want, a bit, want it to be a number or a hashtag, 69 under the seat. Okay? Okay. It's all about under the seat in case you weren't quite aware of that. First, we got to make a background because I said so. All right? All right. I know this is not your favorite kind of videos because these kind of videos get very, very, very few uh, views. Okay. Oh, we made a mess. The top of that there bottle, you know, the little spout thing has that other little plastic thing broke off in it so you can't squeeze it out and I have to open it and then it made a mess and well obviously you see that you're welcome Eileen <laughs> any hoots so I started off with a piece of white cardstock it was dry I put the paint on there and I thought well let's spritz it so I spritzed it and I put the other messy paint on there and spritzed it some more and now we're just going to smear it around with card that's what we're doing. You can see what we're doing. I'm trying to get it all out to the edges and my, my card has some kind of thick gooey stuff on it and it doesn't want to smoosh out so well. Very pleased with this background, might I say. Have I mentioned how much I enjoy making backgrounds? Well, it's true. It is true. See, I'm just trying to make sure I get it all to the edge. I don't know what spot I'm going to use yet. So now we got that there squeegee light thing. And we're putting some waves in it. Remember, just go back to the topic. Under the sea is the theme, y'all. So we're putting wiggle waggles in there. Wiggle waggles. Ah, waves. We're making waves, y'all. Don't be making waves. I am making waves. It's my job and I'm sticking to it. Portions of this video have been sped up. Other portions have not. I will let you know when we get there because it will be quite slow. It will be normal speed. So I've got the same Robin's Egg Blue and now I'm going to add some iridescent medium to it. Oh, I like that stuff, y'all. And I thought, you know, I don't think that's going to be quite light enough. So I'm going to add some uh, Snow White. I think it's a Deco. Deco? No, Americana. I don't know. It's in the description box below, along with other ingredients for this video, <laughs> for your convenience and your 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 curiosity. So we smooshed that up, mixed it up, and got a makeup wedge, and we're going to apply it over this stencil girl stencil. All right, and that is a uh, wisteria vine small, I believe. But again, there again, it's in the description box below. Click on the word more to see more information. And I'm um, trying to give certain depth. Y'all, y'all get it? Depth to the C. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I accomplished it pretty well. Now we'll say a portion of the video didn't get filmed because I thought I clicked record, and evidently I didn't click the button hard enough. Next time, I might have to pound it just a little bit more. Just, you know. And I'm moving this around. It's more of a mass than a stencil. But anyway, I'm moving around because I want the, the varying stuff there, y'all. This is a real pretty background. Just when I got through doing this part, I thought, wow, I should have scanned it. But y'all know me. You know how I am. Just saying. <laughs> I hope everyone is well and fit. I hope I'm well and fit too by the time this uh, actually gets uploaded because I do these in advance because it's, it is a Grumbrocker art swap on the Facebook. It's a group. It's in the description box below. And uh, anyway, I do the video. I mail out my card, my artist trading card, which is official size of two and a half by three and a half orientation of your choice. And then it goes up there, and at the end of the, the time period for the mail-in, they go through and they swap them out. They take pictures and post them on uh, their uh, on the official Grumbacher fan page, y'all. Mm-hmm. And uh, 
then they mail them out to whoever gets your particular card and you'll get somebody else's card in return you don't always get the same people it's just a surprise look can you see the wavy lines in there and the depth of the sea y'all mm -hmm. well I wasn't quite quite done so I put a little more white on uh, in the paint that's left over there I thought well that'll be enough paint surely surely it will be it was <sighs> so anyway and they also you also get these um, punch cards uh, and for every you get a punch for every artist trading card art swap piece you send in you'll get a punch card and after three of those you get after you get three cards then you can trade in your three cards and you can get brushes and the uh, next set I think is anyway it's, it's series of seri a series of uh, things y'all so you kind of get prizes kind of okay so there's that and y'all and you get to make a pretty card and I like to make interactive cards this one's kind of interactive to a certain degree I wouldn't necessarily recommend it totally but you know to a certain degree now I'm using Patty Tyler Paris stencil y'all we love Patty Tyler Paris stencils and this is a uh, tribal tribal rivers I think description box to tell you for sure for shizzles so putting that on there and I'm really digging this so wish I'd have scanned it but you know that's the way I roll <laughs> it's a, it's usually it's unusual that I get them scanned now this is where I took the gel I smeared it uh, a nice even layer all over the whole piece of painted card then I went over it with that squeezy texture tool again and I did the waves again then I let it dry forever because it has been humid, humid. Now I just sprayed more water on there because it was dry. And I want this paint to smear around more like a wash. Uh, t I'm hoping it will show some of those uh, waves in the gel off. And it does a fairly good job. Okay. Okay. Now this is where we're fixing to go real time it's real time so you can see exactly how long I let that set there now remember this is on a sealed up gel medium surface so the paper is no longer absorbent right I'm just letting it get some dry time and um, I was gonna sing a song just sing one it wasn't gonna be musical interlude it was going to be under the sea riding with the turtle no I don't know any songs y'all I, I, I don't yeah, I, well I do know a lot of songs but nothing appropriate <laughs> we don't want copyright hickey do we no no we don't so we're just going to sit here and sing a musical 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 interlude it's just a musical interlude for you, for me, for we, musical interlude. I know this is real time, y'all, real time. We're just letting that sit there and air dry, sort of, real time style. It's been what, like, I don't know, feels like 20 minutes to me. Oh. And it's still going. And in a, in about 20 days, we're going to get out a baby wipe, a damp baby wipe. And we're going to wipe it down. We're going to wipe down at it. We're not going to totally wipe it off. Because like I said, this is on top of gel. So it's not absorbing. It's just kind of staining a little bit. Okay. Back to sped up time. Woo! <laughs> So we're just wiping it off. As you can see, it has stayed pretty well. It's it's done exactly what I want. But you can also see how much paint's wiping off that baby wipe. Just saying. And I am just trying to lightly go over the surface, and I think that's that. Now we're back to real time, so you can see the waves, y'all. It's the sea. Hey, I probably had heat gun earlier. Heat gun earlier. 
<laughs> now we're putting on a, a clear gloss varnish because matte medium or not matte medium excuse me gel medium you know they, it always kind of has that almost tacky like feel to me in these humid areas like where I live in you know Texas southern Texas coastal not really coast I'm not on the coast but anyway there we have it my explanation I'm sticking to it so I went over with the gloss uh, varnish to put a tough harder uh, shell exterior finish on there and now we're going to do some stamping and we're using this here platform that I have a piece of fun foam in the back so it will stamp again and get a nice even stamping because you know I had that issue and there we have it cleaning that off sort of we got a turtle and this is uh, these stamps are from a couple different uh, acrylic stamp sets so look in the description box below for further information <sighs> it is humid and I'm wishing I had to turn the air conditioner on out here in the studio uh, to dry up some of this humidity but I hadn't done it so it's too late in the day to do it now I mean it's already mid afternoon we got mermaid y'all and those other little things there that really look like hands if you think about it they look like hands those are uh, part of her tail fin that we're going to uh, stamp and color and affix to her tail and you know, only if you want extra finage uh, and these are scrap pieces of cardstock because you know I keep my little scraps maybe not all teeny tiny ones but a lot of them now we're going to color everything with prisma pencils and i did not record the uh or take note of the pencils that i used okay the turtle is green so i used greens different greens on the turtle and it and this is fast forwarded like i don't know five times as fast as normal i don't know as you see as you can guess i probably color really slow normally so, but holding pencils in like that makes my, my uh, hand and all that hurt. So I really can't do that very long. Anyway, once I get everything colored, and I don't show y'all this part, okay? This part I did not even bother filming because I cut everything out with a pair of scissors by hand. Fussy cut by hand. Detail cut by hand with a pair of scissors. Okay, now for the turtle and the fish, I do have a dye for them, but it leaves that white edge around there, and I find that white edge extremely annoying. So I just cut them out by hand, and as you can see, these are pretty small little. You know, they're they're smaller than a fifty cent piece. Does anybody even know what a fifty cent piece is anymore? Mm -hmm. Well, about a dollar silver dollar those are coins we we used to have in america's in the old days good old days even my papa when we would go up to see him in uh fort branch indiana every summer he would give us two 50 cent pieces and a silver dollar Mm-hmm. and we couldn't hardly wait there to get our grubby little hands on that money and run down to the Ben Franklin down the street. Well, it was a little further than down the street, but you know, we were kids, everything was just down the street. You know, we were fast running. Gotta go down there and spend our money. I have a couple of those 50 cent pizzas. Don't have any of the silver dollars, but I do have a couple of 50 cent pizzas. Anyway, so now we're on the mermaids. So see those, those little fin things? Don't they look like hands? They look like hands to me so um but they're little fin pieces that's what we're using them for today i've used them as hands before now what i don't show is I also made an artist trading coin which is a two and a half inch circle i don't show you that all i did was punch out the background in a two and a half inch circle and i die cut a piece of uh off white ish uh cardstock into a bone fish bone which is a non-branded dye and glued it on and then I cut a black frame in a circle to put
put on there and that's that. So here's our little pieces all fancy cut out. You're welcome that you didn't have to sit through that. Mm -hmm. So now we're, I guess we're in real time because I seem to be moving slow. And we're going to glue these onto her tail so she can have a real wavery tail. I had thought about uh, using a brad so that they would be articulated and would move, but then I thought that's just too tiny, y'all. And it is pretty, as you can see, it's pretty tiny. She's pretty tiny. See? Mm-hmm. So that's one part of her tail. I'm trying to get in the camera because I zoomed in on it. Y'all know I always have issues finding the right space when I zoom in. So now we're going to glue this other piece on top. I don't know. Does it matter? I don't know. It did to me. It mattered. It mattered it to me. Now, this is just single cardstock. It's not reinforced. It would have been better if I'd made a double layer, but I didn't. So there we have it. I didn't want to cut out a second one. I thought about it. I truly did, but I didn't want to cut it out again because I hand cut these, y'all. And the odds of me getting two, two of them hand cut precisely the same is extremely rare. And if I haven't mentioned it lately, I think I might be liking that art glitter glue. Okay, now because they are single layer, I'm going to go over them with the, uh, the gloss varnish that will add just a little bit of strength. Not much, but just a, just a wee bit, y'all. And I do the front and the back, and then I second coat the front, and I think that was it. I think I just two coated the front and single coated the back. You want to keep these moving because you're liable to glue them down to your deli paper because I'm working on top of deli paper. Now we're to the background. I took the background and I cut it down to size. One of them is to size and one is slightly larger because we're going to make some more waves, y'all. We need more waves because we're under the sea. So we're taking our scissors and we're wiggling and we're making waves. I like to make waves, y'all. So there we go making waves. Now I'm trying to get my spacing and I still didn't quite get it quite right. But it's close enough. It's alright. It works. Mm -hmm. It's my story and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. Like that. And I don't show where I glue the back on. I have uh, computer printed backs. Now because these are going to be little pockets. These waves are little pockets, you know. They're like pockets of water, y'all. Pockets of the sea. I want to bump them up just a little bit for to ease so I can eat more more easier. So it'll be easier to uh, slide in our cutout pieces. All right? So that's our top wave pocket. And that's going to be our middle and that's going to be our bottom wave. I didn't quite get my spacing real well. Oh, and I've inked around the edges, y'all. Y'all probably saw that already. Sawed it. Did you saw it already? So that's what those little pieces sticking out. That's just cardstock as well. And it's just on the edges just to bump the pop pockets up just a wee bit. Make it just a little easier for things to slide in and out. Not that these pieces are, I don't recommend these pieces go in and out in it because they are single layer cardstock and they're just not that, not that uh, structurally sound, I guess is what I'm looking for. And we inked around it and now, yeah, she's going to fit in there and we'll cut it there and we'll cut it there and I just, you know, put, put some of that glue, glue on there. I almost said glitter. Not glue. Oh, got some of my pretty silver hair, y'all. So we got that glued on. Is it gluing on there? Yeah, it's gluing on there. Is it okay? Yeah, it's okay. Let's put this next wave on. Okay. And then when I go to put that bottom wave on there, I realized I'm kind of off the mark just a little bit. But, you know, I was able to fudge it with... Uh, 
relative success. After all, it is the sea, and the sea moves and rises and falls, so it's not all in a straight line all the time anyway, right? Now, I put my little side pieces on because I want to bump that bottom pocket up just a wee bit more. And then I started to put my glue in. I'm like, oh, no, I need a strip across the bottom. So I made another skinny strip. Skinny strip right across the bottom. Now, I'm just kind of flying by the seat of my pants because I really didn't know what I wanted to do other than the water background. And as I went along, that's when I started thinking of junk to do. Oh, you can see that one little edge. Dad gum it. Fudge it. Cut that little white piece off right there. And then and then it'd be okay. Ta-da! It's okay. It's all right. <laughs> so we got that. I'm gonna set that aside, I think, for a minute and let it dry. You may or may not see. You can kind of see the waves, kind of. I guess I could have put white on top of them, you know, to like like a wave peak. Now we're putting a, a varnish on the back of them. I didn't realize I showed y'all that. I thought I could just tell you. But anyway, so there we are. And uh, you got to be sure to get your brush clean. Now we're back to the piece. Everything's all dry. It's all dry, y'all. Let this stuff dry. We're inking the edge with some black. I'd already inked it all with blue. Now we're inking it with black. I've already tucked my uh, cutout pieces in there. I'm going to show it. I'm going to show you. Here we go. See, she's a pocket. There's our cur there's our mermaid. She slides right in there. Mm -hmm. Yep. Here's the fish. Okay. Okay. And then here's the turtle. And you could put the turtle and the fish in uh, either pocket. Now, I would only keep the mermaid in the top pocket because she is longer than the rest of them. And then there's the back. And here we go. Photo montage. <laughs> and when I tell y'all, that one's blurry. It, it, I just couldn't get the camera to focus for diddly on that. I appreciate each and every one of you. Your kind comments, your likes, your shares. Please share my videos with your friends. I'm sure they might get a laugh or a hoot out of them as much as I do when I, yeah. And uh, uh, subscriptions, if you've not subscribed, you might want to take, oh, there's our bony fish. I went over the top of him with some crackle because that's what I did. Thanks for watching and happy arting, y'all.